Hi crafters, it's Sarah again uh, for this week's Craft Shoe Print giveaway. We have an amazing giveaway this week for Mother's Day, which is coming up very soon. Mother's Day is March the 31st here in the UK, as you all know, but did you know in America they have it on a different day? In the USA, Mother's Day is on the 12th of May. How fascinating is that? Tonight, I'm going to tell my girls that bit of information and hopefully I'll receive two cards and maybe even two presents. You never know. God loves a trier. <laughs> Before I show you this week's giveaway, did you know that unlike any other craft website, you can reactivate your past purchase in your dashboard without even contacting us? There's a link in the dashboard which will let you do this providing you've purchased the file in the, in the past. This is ideal if you have maybe your computer's crashed or you just maybe simply lost the file. Uh, watch this short tutorial and it will explain this very neat feature we have. Okay folks, it's giveaway time. This week we are giving away the perfect card for Mother's Day. This was designed by Anne-Marie Vaux and the cup number is cup 399734 underscore 10. Anne-Marie designed this kit for a vintage style pocket to hold a full card and if you can see there, look, it goes in and out. It's not a folded card, it's a tag style card. Let me just show you how this is made. We've got five sheets. Uh, these two, this one's the front one, and then we've got uh, that one creates the uh, insert, and that one as well, the pocket card, and then we've got the backing sheets there. It will make a very unusual and beautiful card. This design is simple and quick to make, and you can add your own ribbon to make it look fabulous. However, if you don't have any ribbon, Anne-Marie has included uh, paper bows there and she's included instructions on how to make a paper loop. This card has been uh, made with embellishments. It's got two pink fabric um, butterflies there uh, with a lacy garter, as you can see, going around the middle there. Uh, to complete the card, she's got a ribbon at the top there uh, with a rose in the centre. It just is, look, absolutely beautiful. The overall size of this uh, pocket card uh, is approximately about six inches. Uh, you can use the card on this stand if you want to show it off in your windowsill or on your mantelpiece. It truly is a beautiful kit and you are bound to enjoy making it as well as giving it to someone special. Okay, I'm going to hand you over to Anne-Marie who will show you how to make this beautiful, lovely keepsake. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie Vo and I'm a designer with CraftShoeprint.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make one of my new vintage pocket tag cards and it's a kit. This is the design that we're going to be making. It's the Just For You Mother's Day card kit. As you're looking at the finished sample, we can go to look at what's in the kit. This is one of the sheets that you'll be able to print off. This is the front of the pocket. The cup number is 399734 underscore 10. In the kit you get five sheets plus a full photo tutorial and written instructions. You get the pocket front, the back of the pocket, a sheet of backing paper, the actual cards for the go inside the pocket, and the back of the pocket. So I'm going to show you how to put it all together and make a pocket card kit. So by the magic of screen I've cut everything out so that it's a little bit easier for me to put it together. So I'm going to start off with the pocket front. 
Now, the tools that I've used to make the pocket card, I've used my cutter and um, used it to make the folds as well. Double-sided tape, um, wet glue, you might prefer to use foam pads or something, bone folder and my scissors. So, we're going to start off with the actual front of the pocket. So, I've cut it out and you'll see that there's flaps around the edge of the outline. So with these we're going to score them along the edge to get a nice clean fold like so using my bone folder. If you just run it down the uh, scorer a couple of times it will save breaking the fibres in the paper. It will just give you a nice crisp fold line. So that's all three of those. Now just for quickness, I've already actually put tape on the back. Normally I would have used um, a wet glue, a good strong one to give it a good seal. So we've folded those over like so, so that we have that. Now we're going to take the back of the pocket, which is actually for the inside of it like so and that will slide like that so that the flaps go to the back of that and it will just slightly bow a little bit giving a little bit of distance between the back of the pocket and the front because you want room to be able to slide in your pocket card so I'll turn that over and I'm going to start with the bottom flap and as I say you might want prefer to use wet glue so I'll slide that up to the score line that we've just done fold that over peel the tape from the sides now as I say it's going to bow slightly but you want to be able to have that row to be able to slide your pocket in, uh, tag in so that's that so that's how it looks at the moment. Now the back looks a little bit untidy. So the back section that you've cut out is going to go neatly over the flaps to cover them. Like so. Again, I've put tape on mine just for quickness. So what you'll do is you'll marry it up corner to corner to cover the flaps and to the sides like so press it down and then it's all covered if for any reason your folds are a little bit out or you don't actually catch the line you could ink around the edges just to turn in so there we've got the pocket and now we're going to make the actual inside for the pocket so we've cut the two halves out like so and they're just going to go back to back okay now I've put tape on mine for, again for quickness but I would use a wet strong glue normally now before we stick them together we need to make the ribbon pulp for the top and on the tutorial instructions, I've put down if you want to cut out a piece from the backing paper that's approximately four inches by an inch and a half. So you'll cut that and you'll fold it in half and using a good strong glue or tape, stick it together so it's just folded in half. And then just to break the fold a little bit, I run my bone folder along it just to get a smoother edge and just to get a little bit of movement into it and I curl it over like so so if we just literally do that and if you can see as I bring it round like that just to form a loop so I've previously done that and that's ready to put into the between the sections so I take the top of the front of the T 
tag and I'm roughly going to place that in the middle I think it could be about there working backwards like so so I firmly stick that down and then I'm going to place the back of the tag on as well like so marry it up whoops just hold it up to marry it up oops now unless you've got a die cutting machine sometimes you are going to get a little bit of overhang so you might have to trim the edges so press that firmly down and that's your card with the loop so to finish it off I can put my card into the pocket see you've got the extra room where it burred a little bit now it doesn't look so odd when you've put the middle in now I've also included two bows I'm only going to use one because I just think that it it, it looks nice with one however there's two if you want to decoupage them I'm going to use a wet glue just to add it to the front like so there we go so that's the finished pocket kit I've also made a few samples of the pocket kit using ribbon as well as the actual paper ribbon so you could embellish them or use anything on the front just to give it your own unique touch so I'd like to thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this cut TV and I hope you like my pocket kits thank you very much and I'll see you again thank you Anne-Marie for that and thank you also for this week's week, weekly giveaway and before I go I just wanted to share something about myself um, uh, this is obviously absolutely brand new doing the YouTube channel um, and when I first told my husband he laughed to be honest um, and then he said oh you know it's going okay you know uh, but you know what my legs absolutely shake by the time I finish doing all of this I come off and my legs absolutely shake anyway um, because I do like a new challenge in life and I'm thoroughly enjoying this, um, although I do get stage fright, but I am absolutely thoroughly enjoying it. And I was just wondering, are you crafters out there? Um, have you got any new challenges? Have you tried something new? Would you like to share it with us? Have you tried a new sport, a new craft, a new hobby, a new experience? Just absolutely anything that is out of your comfort zone that you never thought you were going to do or something that you've planned to do. Just anything that you would like to share. Um, I've shared mine with you, so come on, share right back. Um, I'm going to open a thread on uh, the Facebook group, so I would absolutely love if you can get involved because I'm really interested. It's really, really good to get involved because then I will know that you're on my wavelength and we can share. Anyway, crafters, um, that's all for this week. Uh, if you'd like to see more fun free giveaways, please share this video with your friends. Even if you don't use Facebook, you can still share the link on the YouTube um, channel. Remember, you need to share, 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 share. And if you'd like to see more giveaways, then share even more. See you next week, crafters. Bye bye.